Hello, my name is Yao Christensen and I'm a developer at Sitecore. For this demo, we're going to look a little bit at how to do data sources in in Speak. Uh, a data source in Speak is, is the classic definition of a data source. It takes some input and it provides some output. There is uh, no magic for data sources in Speak. It is just a plain rendering with uh, all the things that Speak provides for renderings. Now the data source I want to build is a very simple one. It's just a data source that reverses a string. Now, first up, let's uh, go and have a look at the um, demo page. I cleaned it up a little bit, uh, so it's actually quite clean right now. So let's go and do a, um, uh, a new rendering. We'll go into add new item, and we will go to cycle speak do a component, we'll call this the reverse data source. And we're waiting for it to load and we'll put it in the page settings. So for this rendering, we're gonna provide two properties. One is an input, the other one is an output just like that that's basically all we need right now now let's go into the HTML we're gonna change this one and now we are just gonna get the the input variable just to make sure that the data binding is working that's an input and input just like that now let's go and set up the uh, parameters template we'll go here and there we are and we will create a new parameters template and we'll call this the reverse data source parameters and as usual, the first thing we do is we set up the uh, the base template. Now I'm going to pick the component base for this one because it's actually not a visual, visible control. So the component base is, is just a, the very basic component that we need. And for this, we are going to do the input field and the output field, just like that. Now let's bind this to the actual rendering. We'll go here, and we'll go here and here. So basically now we have defined that this reverse data source rendering has two parameters, input and output. Um, let's put this on the, on the page. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a text box to this one which is, there we go, and we're going to stick that in the main application. Then we're going to do the reverse data source, and then we're going to show the output in the text field. And let's bind this up. So the reverse data source will take its it's um, input from the text box, text box text, like that, and the text will take its text from the reverse data source output. Here we go, just like that. Let's just go and see if we broke something. This looks okay. We're not expecting anything because nothing. We are not actually calling the uh, data source just yet. So this is good, now let's go back and let's create our um, uh, service art part of this. So we're just gonna add a new class, we'll call that the reverse controller. And this should inherit from controller. Like that. And then we're going to do a public string reverse 
string. We're going to take the input from our web utils, get web util get form value. That's the one we want. I'm going to take the input. I'm going to do chars is input to char array. Going to reverse that. And then we're going to return a new string of the char. So this is basically just reverting the input um, string that we get. OK, so this is ready. Let's compile this. It's good. Now let's go into the JavaScript. Now, what should happen is that whenever the input is changed, we should call this um, controller and get the uh, uh, result back. So we'll do this on whenever the input changes. We're going to do this reverse like that. And then let's create a new function. Called reverse function. The first thing we're going to do in this one is we're going to get the input out of the view model for this rendering. And now I'm going to do an AJAX call. Like that. And the URL for this will be the API. Psycho reverse reverse string. Let's just go and check if that is actually right. So reverse string and reverse control. Let's look. That looks right. We're gonna do the type is gonna be a post, and the data we are gonna send with it is just gonna be our input. that. I'm going to set the context to this. And now on su success, we're going to just get the data and stick that in the output. Like that. OK, so whenever the input changes, we do the AJAX call, and when we get back, we set the output to the new data. And if binding is working correctly, let's see if it's actually working. So we're going to refresh this. And we are waiting. Here we go. We go to sample. And there you go. Go demo. And it reverses everything. That's kind of nice. So what did we do? We created the um, uh, data source rendering, basic rendering. Nothing magic here. We did the binding on the input. Uh, we defined two properties, input and output. And whenever the input is changing, we call the, uh, the server part of it. Server part is just a basic reversal of a string. And on the layout, we set up so that we had a text box and we data bound the input of the text box text property as an input to the uh, data source and the text just took the output of that reverse data source. So as you can see, there's basically no magic in, in doing custom data sources in Speak. It's just renderings that take an input and provide an output.